Good morning. It is 9.50 a.m. on Saturday, January 18th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Had a nice moving slow, relaxing, you know, Saturday morning. Thinking to myself how even though generally my attitude on sleeping is that I resent the time lost for from other uh, activities, Sure does feel good sometimes, but see, that's a trick. That's just my body tricking me into thinking I like to sleep so that I'll get enough rest in order to be healthy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, finished up last week the important testing that I was doing as part of my day job stuff. And uh, it's a very complicated project, so... You know, you know the the result of testing of that type is generally going to be uh, the the average. The par for the course is things went okay, but maybe not as well as you hoped. <laughs> but it's it's a matter of managing expectations there, right? Like you set a threshold. It's like, well, if I don't get at least this much, then I'm going to be disappointed. And maybe we could get this much, and then the end result is right in the middle. It's like not bad, but it was a long week at work, so uh, just uh, glad to be seeing the tail end of that, um, and uh, speaking of tail end, <laughs> it's only a little over a week until I get to bring my puppy home, so I'm very excited about that, starting to just think about the various other things that I have to continue to do to uh, puppy-proof the apartment be all ready for when that uh, happens and uh, excited there and just getting to be yeah I'm just excited about that you know um, and uh, you know for anyone who is curious um, uh, I've not picked a name yet I'm still actually not gonna pick a final one until I meet the puppy uh, I posted on Twitter and Facebook a little while back uh, the short list of names um, that was already like 12 names, and I uh, will uh, let everybody know that I have succeeded now in adding four more names to the list. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, so otherwise, uh, in other news, I watched Train to Busan last night, which is a movie, it's a zombie movie, which is on Netflix. It's a South Korean zombie movie. So one of the things that was neat about it is uh, watching them go to like the you know the big KTX, which is like the the high speed trains uh, stations in Seoul and so on, and saying, "Hey, I was there." That's kind of neat, and uh, so that that was a neat element to it. But I'm going to go ahead and say that as long as you uh, are not one of those people who just can't do subtitles for whatever reason. This is a top-notch zombie movie. Uh, it's extremely good. It is of the fast zombie variety. Um, I think, given my druthers, I tend to prefer slow zombie over fast zombie as a general rule. But certainly fast zombies can be effective, and they certainly are in in this context, uh, uh, this this uh, this movie is very good. It has cool stuff in it, interesting characters. Uh, one of the secondary leads is played by the kid who's the uh, you know the son in Parasite, uh, the son of the poor family in Parasite, who is like, oh hey, I know him, and uh, it, it's really good. Uh, it's exciting. Um, it develops quite well. You know, the idea that it's a zombie movie that takes place almost entirely on a train en route, uh, you know, like it, it does really good at keep, you know, keeping it fresh and not just uh, becoming uh, too familiar or too claustrophobic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's just really exciting. I, I think if you, if you are a fan of zombie movies at all, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's definitely one you should see. Uh, in the meantime, today, as I mentioned, I have a few more things that I 
want to get done as far as, uh, you know, continuing to ready myself for new puppy. But otherwise, I've got a weekend full of mostly just hanging out and relaxing on, on deck. And that seems very appealing after the last week. So uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. Tomorrow, of course, is Sunday. Uh, so I will be talking about you know, continuing my rewatch of Cowboy Bebop. So in the meantime, I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.